Hello, Year One. Uh, first thing we're going to do for our starter is recap what we did yesterday. Have a think. Can you remember what we did? What we did it using? OK, and then press pause and give it a go. OK, well done for using your bar models to help you count on. OK, let's see how we get on. Remember to put that first number that you see into your head. OK, first number needs to be the biggest number, remember? OK, so let's have a look. We've got nine in our heads, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's see if we've got that. Ooh, we have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well done if you managed to do that. Let's have a look here. So we've got 11 in our head. We're going to count on for seven, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, so let's do that together. So we've got one, uh, 11 in our head, sorry, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's double check against Miss Brandt's work. Uh, oh, that one. There we go. There we have it. So, well done. If you remembered what we did yesterday, if you didn't quite remember, don't worry. We're going to do some, um, do a few more, but in a slightly different way. Okay. So, why do we count on? Do you remember what word we use to say the reason we counted on? Okay, it's down here and it's circled. OK, we count on because it's a more efficient way of adding. OK, it means it's quicker and it's in a system. It's an organized system that will help us to get our answer more reliably. OK, so have a look at this question. Which one do you think is right? Do you think it's the little tortoise or do you think Miss Brandt has managed to get it the right way around? And tell me why, okay? Tell your person why at home. So press pause, have a quick discussion. Look at this circle, okay? Don't forget, it is more efficient to start with the bigger number. Okay, so who started with the bigger number? Okay, that's right. I started with the bigger number, okay? Meaning my way was more efficient because I only had to count on for four, rather than six and that would have been a lot quicker okay and because there was only four compared to six uh probably more likely I, I, that i wouldn't make mistakes because there's less steps to take okay right so yesterday we used our bar models okay so here was an example i've got eva has 13 prize tokens she wins five more how many prize tokens does Eva have now? So let's do it together. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 13 plus five is 18. Okay, let's see the different ways we might be doing it today. Ooh. What does a tens frame represent? It represents tens, doesn't it? So there are 10 counters in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now what I want you to do is press pause and go and get something that can represent 10. Okay, I saw some things on Twitter last night and somebody was using Jaffa cakes. Okay, so one side was the chocolate. And the other side was the foamy um, biscuit side. OK, so you could use something like that biscuits or um, I saw somebody else using tea light candles. So up to you, up to you what you use. Um, we're going to be doing something slightly different on the next slide. So go get something that represents tens. I've got different things I'm going to use. Um, but I, I just want you to have a go. So press pause. Off you go. OK, so hopefully you've got your counters or whatever you're using to use your tens. So it could be little treats or little uh, cars or whatever it is. I now want you to press pause and tell me what is being represented in the 
tens frame. Okay, so how many is in the tens frame? So press pause and then we will go through it. Okie dokie, so you're right. This one has one, two, three. So you should have written the number three. Okay, and in this one, it has two, four, six, seven. Okay. And in this one, I know because it's a tens frame, I know that that would mean five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another way you could work it out is you know that's a tens frame, minus one from 10 is nine. This, there's lots of different ways you can work them out. Okie dokie, let's move to the next question. So you're gonna have questions that look very similar to this. Okay, I'm gonna talk through this one and then I'm give, going to give you an opportunity to press pause on each of the following questions coming up and having a go at them, okay? And that's what you're going to use your counters on. So I'll read this one to start with, we'll work through it quickly, and then I'll tell you on the next questions what I would like you to do, okay? So it says, use tens frames to complete the number story. So we're gonna be using number stories alongside a tens frame. So. First, there were mm, cars in the car park. Now it says first here, and it says first here. So this tens frame is representing first. So we need to count <clears throat> how many cars that is being represented. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Some people might have just known that one, okay, because of two fives equals 10. Okay, then, okay, do you see it says then? Then, mm, more cars parked in the car park. So then, one, two, three, three more cars parked in the car park. Okay, so I'm gonna write three. Hopefully I'll do it in blue so it's very clear. Three more cars parked in the car park. Now, okay, do you see how it says now there? Let me highlight it again for you, get a different color. Now, now there are mm, cars in the car park. So how many are in total? Okay, so we know five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so don't forget we're still counting on. So it's important that you, um, you um, still count on in that way. Okay, I'll just I'll make it orangey so you can see. So your challenges today, you are going to have a number of these different um, questions. Okay, so now's the time to press pause and work through this question. Okay, well done for doing it. So there were one, two, three. I'll write it. Oh no, I need to write it here, sorry. There were three cars in the car park. Then there were two more cars in the car park. Now there are five cars in the car park because I had three and then three, four, five. And I can just double check that one, two, three, four. Okay, fantastic, well done. Your next question is about dolls and I want you to press pause now. Okay, right, let's have another go. There were mm, dolls in the house. There are one, two, three, four, five dolls in the house. Then there were two more dolls in the house, which means five, six, seven dolls. Oh dear. Seven dolls are now in the house. And we can double check that by looking in our now um, tens frame on the right hand side. Hopefully it's on the right for you. 
on the right hand side here and just double check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Right, your third question is about pigs in their sty. So press pause, off you go. Okay, so there are there were mm, pigs in the sty. So there were five pigs in the sty. One, two, three, four more pigs in the sty, which means five, let's count it, five in our heads, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well done. Okay, so now just double check it. 10 would be if the frame was complete, but there's one missing. So 10 minus one equals nine. So that's how you could double check your work. Okay, well done. Okay, your next question. Press pause and have a go. Okay. First, there were 10 birds in the nest. Then mm, more birds joined the nest. That's a, that should say join the nest. Okay. Oh, is there any birds joining the nest? No. So what do I need to write? Yes, I need to write zero. Then zero more birds join the nest. Okay, then 10, and then we count on zero. So 10, okay, that's right. So it is still 10. Okay, that one was a bit of a trick when I wanted to see if anybody could work out on their own before I went through it. Well done if you didn't get tricked by Miss Brandt. Okay, here we go. So this one we're going to do apples. Okay, press pause and have a go. Okay, this is the last question like this. So let's work it out. Two, four, six, eight. There were eight apples in the bowl. One, two, two more apples go into the bowl. Now there are, can anybody spot a mistake on Miss Brant's? Uh, display. Okay, yes, I have forgotten to move my apples. Okay, so if you spotted my mistake, well done. Okay, here they are. Now there are 10 apples. I hope someone managed to spot that before me. There are 10 apples. Okay. Right, so today, now we've worked through those five questions, today your challenge is, your challenge X, if you want to take your learning even further, is to create your own questions. Now, some of you might have a car garage, okay? Or you might want to create a car garage with your cars, okay? Or a car park for your cars. So I want you to use your cars, Make a um, car park of, of 10 cars, okay, and then make your own question. That's an example if you want to use cars. If you want to use something else, you can use whatever you like that's in your house, okay. You can even just use um, counters or pictures of 10 frames, whatever you'd like to complete more of your own questions okay and I would love to see all the inventive ways and imaginative ways that you come up with making some questions okay well done for today's math lesson press pause to um, do these do the ch challenge x and I look forward to seeing all your lovely creative work